How's it going everybody? It's Mike here with Let's Just Go Travel. Today we're going to be installing a cell phone booster in our Jayco 166 FBS travel trailer. Okay, so what we have here is the WeBoost Drive Reach RV model. So the point of a booster such as this is to boost a signal that's already in the air. It can't create a signal out of nothing. Cell phone boosters like this only work when you're already sort of within the range of a cell phone tower. If you're so far away that you're not at all near a cell phone tower, something like this isn't going to do anything for you. But if you have, let's say, one bar or you keep dropping out from one bar to zero bars, something like this will be really awesome because it'll amplify whatever signals in the air and broadcast it within the inside of your RV. Okay, so first thing, let's get this box open. Let's figure out what we're working with. So we got a super long coax cable, we have the unit itself, we got, we got the antenna that goes on the inside of your RV, and we have the outside antenna, I guess this gets mounted on like our ladder or something similar. We so needed hardware with it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do first is figure out a good place to mount this on the outside and then we're going to figure out how to route the cable for it that comes inside. In their install guide video, they say that you should run the cable through your slide system. Luckily, we do have a slide on our RV, so I think that should be okay, but I'm a little concerned about like water intrusion and things like that, but we'll kind of see. We'll see how that all works out. Okay, so we're here on the outside of the trailer and we're going to get to working on mounting the antenna to our ladder here on the back. So they give you some U-bolts in this bracket to kind of work with. Uh, I think this is more meant for like a rounded ladder and ours is a square. So let's find out if it works. Can you get that for me? <laughs> Thanks. Can I wreck the ladder? You sure are. <laughs> it's scratching the crap out of the ladder, but I mean, it fits. So. You being good puppies? Okay, so we got our little bracket thing mounted on. That took forever. Well, because we don't have the right tools. We don't have the right tools. We we're just turning it with these little wrenches. So now we can mount our antenna right through here. It's got a washer and a big nut. Is that tight? Yep. Cool, okay. We got this ready to go. Now we're gonna figure out how to run the wire from the inside of the RV out to here so we can connect it. Okay, so they gave us about 25 feet of this coax cable. So my plan is to run it from the antenna to the left side through the slide and then inside the RV. Uh, we'll see how that works. Let's give it a go. Next to the slide, I think the best place to go is probably through this area here. So there's a gap here where I can kind of pull it back with my finger. And if we go through here, I think we can get to the inside of the RV. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get Dana to go inside there and receive this cable on the other side. So on the inside of our slide here, when we have the, we don't have the slide fully opened or closed right now. It's just kind of halfway, and you can totally see you can get to the outside from here. And there's already kind of a little bit of a gap here naturally by the way they built it. So we're gonna run the cable through here, so there's not any weird pinch points and things like that, and we're not compromising the water seal. All right, so this is with the slide fully open. As you can see, we still got our cable running out. You can kind of see where it's going. There's a little bit of a pinch, but I wouldn't call it bad enough because this stuff is pretty flexible. It's pressing on it right now, but I wouldn't call it a bad pinch that it's going to get like cut off or anything like that. And this is how the manufacturer said to install it. So we're going to trust them on that. And hopefully no water ever gets in through here. If water does somehow get through here eventually, I'd probably consider a more permanent solution where in which I drill through the roof itself to run this cable. We're gonna finish up here. We're gonna run this cable now up through the backside of this. 
behind our TV here, as you can see behind our TV, we have a 12 volt outlet here. Uh, I'm gonna get a splitter for this and this is where we will power our WeBoost. I'm probably gonna drill a hole through somewhere here so the cable can come inside and plug right into this baby. Oh God. Okay, so to kind of clean up the wire that we got going on here, we're just gonna use these kind of cable hide things that I found off Amazon. All right, so here we go. We got the cable that's running out of here, going through all these cable hides, all the way back there, into the inside of this cabinet, where it'll, where it'll end up on the other side here. And here is where we're gonna mount our actual booster. Okay, so this is the actual booster unit itself. We're gonna mount it on the inside of our TV cabinet here. Let's pop it off here. And we'll mount this kind of somewhere right here. That ought to do it. Alrighty. Okay, got this mounted, this is ready to go. Now we're gonna connect our antenna. So to recap, we've mounted our antenna outside on the ladder. We've run the wire from it all the way through the slide, across all here, into here, where the module sits. And now from the module, we will now connect the antenna for the inside. And this is what broadcasts the signal that your phone latches onto. Connected. We'll just put it here for now. I just wanna see how it's working. Okay, so it's kind of weird. The power supply that they give you for this cell phone booster, even though it's meant for an RV, they give you a 110 volt, you know, regular old uh, AC plug. In reality, it really should be a 12 volt power source for this because most people do not necessarily have inverters inside of their RV. But what you can do is you can order the 12 volt power supply from them and plug into a traditional cigarette lighter sort of plug. We don't have it yet, but I'm gonna test it right now with the household outlet plug, uh, just to make sure everything's all working and whatnot. So here we go. All right, well, light came on, that's a good sign. And here's just to show that it's working. Here at our house, we usually have one or two bars of LTE service, and we are right next to the module now, which is green and on. And as you can see, we have full bars now. Oh, wow. Look at that. Works. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now that we've proved that it's working, everything seems to be okay. I call that success. So now we will hopefully have better cell service whenever we're out in the mountains and there's very, very weak signal. This should provide us with ample boost. That's all for today, guys. Again, my name's Mike. I'm with Let's Just Go Travel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. We're going to be doing tons more RV stuff this summer as we get into the season. And we're going to do all sorts of crazy awesome adventures in our Jayco 166 FBS here. And we'd love for you to be part of it. So until next time, see you guys on the next one.